Wanted to share some um, relevant insights with respect to zone two training. Again, lots of questions about this, and I always want to make sure people are um, are getting the best insight around this as possible. So, um, two two sort of separate issues I'm going to describe. One using an example from me. One using an example from a patient. Um, but they both come back to the same point, and the point is rate of perceived exertion is going to be the single most important thing you use to determine your training zone. Um, now you'll hear me talk a lot about lactate, and lactate is very important, um, but a couple things have to be true. One, you have to be willing to kind of poke yourself with a lactate stick, and, and, and again, I, I just don't think that that's necessary for most people. Secondly, you have to be at a certain level of fitness, and I think a litmus test for that is if your resting lactate is above one, you shouldn't be using lactate. Again, I'm going to come back to that a little bit more. Um, the question everybody wants to know is, hey, Peter, just tell me what heart rate to be at. And I always sort of refuse that question, even though I can provide some guidance. You've heard me talk about 180 minus your age, Phil Maffetone's approach, totally reasonable. But of course, the plus or minus on that is 10. So you have to, you know, it might be a good starting point, but, but there's some challenges with that. Um, I've spoken about how I like to use the Morpheus device, and I do check my data every single morning with it. I will measure heart rate, heart rate variability, and it always spits out a predicted zone two heart rate. Um, so every time I'm doing zone two, I'm looking at that number and I'm sort of using it for guidance, but, and this is the point I want to make, if there is discordance between my rate of perceived exertion, meaning how hard I think I should be going based on the talk test, which we'll come back to, and what the heart rate is on the Morpheus app, I'm following rate of perceived exertion. Okay, so yesterday I woke up and I had really bad numbers. Now the reason is the night before I, um, you know, we had some company over, I had a couple glasses of wine, um, which normally I wouldn't have two. So heart rate variability was a bit low, heart rate was high, and truthfully I didn't sleep that well. So my predicted heart rate for zone two was 128 beats per minute, uh, which is low for me. So I get on the bike and I start riding, expecting to feel horrible, by the way, and I don't, I feel really good. Um, so I blow past 128, uh, I'm into the mid 130s, I'm feeling great, I just keep pushing the power, because uh, again, that's, that's what's driving my heart rate, is how many watts am I, am I increasing? So I'm, I'm increasing wattage, I'm increasing wattage, I'm increasing wattage, and then finally, at about a heart rate of 144, I feel like I'm in the right spot. Meaning, I am now at the point where if somebody called me and I had to pick up the phone, I could speak in a complete sentence, I just wouldn't want to. Now remember, the prediction is this was gonna happen at a heart rate of 128. I'm now at 144. By the way, I'm 40 watts higher as well. So what I was interested to see was, hey, when this is all said and done, what's my lactate gonna be? Is my lactate gonna be three, in which case I went way above that number of two that I should be or not? And sure enough, at the end of that ride, my lactate was 1.5. In other words, I probably still had a little bit I could have done, but 1.5 is not, 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 not bad. I try to be between 1.6 and 1.9. So what's the teaching point there? The teaching point there is the rate of perceived exertion was a far better guide for me than the predicted heart rate. And by the way, any of the uh, data you would use to predict heart rate on me would say 144 is too high because 180 minus my age puts me in the, well, it actually puts me at 128. Um, so that's clearly wrong. Even if you adjust up and add 10 for being very fit, which would be Maffetone's adjustment, that still puts me at 138. And oftentimes I am in the 140s at my zone two. So, um, the second lesson, the flip side of this, is I was talking to a patient yesterday and he was sort of lamenting the fact that he hasn't really made any gains. And we kind of went through it and I realized, well, the reason he hasn't made any gains is every day he's checking his lactate and he's basically halting his output at lactate two. And I started to suspect by asking him some questions that he's not actually pushing hard enough. He's actually in zone one, even though his lactate is two. So we looked at his resting lactate and lo and behold, it's about 1.4. So he's just not metabolically healthy enough to be relying on lactate. And so the reason he hasn't made any improvements in his zone two is because he's been training in zone one. He's, he doesn't have enough training stimulus. So again, the coaching for him was put the lactate meter away. We're not gonna pay any attention to it for the next six to 12 months. And I want you to ride just on RPE. 
And the RPE, not the heart rate, the RPE is going to be what tells us that you are in zone two. So what is the takeaway from all of this? The takeaway is forget everything but RPE. Pay attention to other things if you want to. Notice how your heart rate changes on different days based on RPE. But what you really wanna do is focus on what is my rate of perceived exertion? And I don't mean applying a number to it, I mean how do I actually feel? Can I talk um, uncomfortably? If I, if I can talk comfortably, I'm in zone one. If I can't talk comfortably in complete sentences, um, can't even finish a sentence, I'm clearly out of zone two. You will get a feel for this over time. And you should be observant of how many watts you're putting out and what your heart rate is at that zone. But again, you have to be at that level of discomfort. Um, and for some of you, that will also imply your lactate is between 1.6 and two. For some of you, your lactate will be way above that. It's okay, don't worry about it. Train the zone.